party is set for this weekend's Pride Parade in Williston Manors. And despite growing hate crimes across the country, the city promises it will be one of the safest places to be. Local 10's Christian De La Rosa is live with the security measures that will be in place. Christian. Nicole Calvin, 40,000 people are expected to pack Wilton Drive behind me for the Stonewall Pride Festival. And ever since we first exposed the dramatic increase in security costs, event organizers and city officials have been reassuring the public they have it covered and the event will be safe. Members of the LGBTQ plus community will tell you the battle's never over. They say it's more important than ever before to show their pride at this year's Stonewall Festival in Wilton Manors this Saturday. But some city officials say protecting pride is coming at a shockingly high cost. City Commissioner Chris Caputo told Local 10 News earlier this week the price tag for securing the event went up about 80 percent from roughly $50,000 to 92 grand. He says the required number of officers, hours and equipment to secure the festival has been rising every year. At Broward County, who usually provides thousands of dollars in safety equipment and support, pulled out this year. They have their own budget concerns. The rising costs come with rising concerns over recent mass shootings and threats against other pride events across the country. Police in West Palm Beach say a teenager in Canada was arrested after making credible threats against the pride event in their city earlier this month. But Caputo says thankfully, people in the community are stepping up to help pay the bill. Some with sponsorships, others with donations. And Broward County Y'all Sheriff Gregory Tony tells the one and only he will be providing patrols and investigators to monitor social media for credible threats. Well, that was sad. This is pretty sad. Event organizers say those planning to come out should not worry. And we're not going to let our guard down, but we're not going to hide. We're not going to live in fear. And there are so many people looking forward to tomorrow's festival. You might remember last year it came to a crashing halt when a member of the Fort, uh, Fort Lauderdale Gay Men's Chorus actually lost control of a vehicle. One of its members actually was killed and the event, like I said, was canceled, at least the parade portion of it. Uh, the parade, Stonewall Pride Parade, is expected to start tomorrow at 3 p.m. We're live in Wilton Manors. I'm Christian De La Rosa, Local 10 News. Okay.